Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the AI Chatbot Masterclass. This episode is very very important if I would say this episode actually will open up a lot more possibilities with what you can do with dialogue flow with what you can actually do in your conversations how you can keep them more contextual and in the industry you know if you are using this kind of stuff you really matter and you make a space for yourself the conversations you will be building will be more understanding and they develop the assistant that you will be building it will be more knowledgeable it will understand what the user is trying to say just from the conversations that it has had previously so let's look at time travel context with parameters so till now you have seen context differently and you have seen parameters differently but when they work in unison that is the real magic so let's start so first of all what are we actually going to do what used to happen is that when context came up people realized that they might need a lot many context like obviously if i am going for 250 products i might need 250 context right so that i can have different flows according to different products so that is one example but do we really need 250 context to work in different manner and then there came a need that we can use parameters as context or if i would say simply that we can transfer parameters from one intent to another with the help of context and now what you can do basically is with the help of just one context you can transfer this parameter from one intent to another and now you know that parameter values can have unlimited number of values they can have 1000 2000 3000 values so in sense you are somewhere having so many context simultaneously so first let's understand what is the need basically what might you need this for so the first need comes says that you collected a parameter from a user in one intent and you wish to use its value in another intent like you all have been you know thriving to do this that i want to use the name of this person in another intent okay so this is the one thing next is suppose i take the example of extended lead generation for suppose that i got the name and email id of someone in one intent and in next intent i don't wish to ask again for the name and email id okay but i wish to collect the further parameters like address like state and like city now we already have gone through fulfillment all right so we could have collected these both separately and have sent them separately to the fulfillment but now what we can do is we can collect them both separately and send them at one time to the fulfillment we don't need to send them separately to the fulfillment right so this is how the need comes up and where we can use it how can you do it context will serve as temporary storage for parameter values and what you can do is the slight change you need to make now in your parameter value is that now parameter value is equal to hashtag context name dot parameter name so the space where you used to enter dollar parameter value there you'll have to put in hashtag context name dot parameter name The number one rule here now is it should be an active context if it is not an active context your parameter value will go blank it would not be able to consider the parameter value that you are trying to take in next is this parameter name is the name of the parameter that you want to use the value of okay so for example that if the parameter name was room in some other intent and the active context is reservation you can reference the parameter value as hashtag #reservation dot room remember that this intent you will be using this parameter value you don't need to have an input context okay so always remember a context becomes active if it was in the output context next if it had a life span okay if you are in the life span that it had actually right so you don't need to have an input context in this basically in this intent you can just have an output context in the previous intent or or before that and just keep this intent in the life span of that you know of that context so it will be possible for you to use this parameter value as hashtag context name dot parameter name now there are two key things that come up and come up with quite experience i would say so what happens is basically you'll see that when you are when you're trying to match a training phrase to a parameter as we have seen that suppose i am saying i want to buy size s cloth okay now i am saying size small cloth okay and we understand that now this size or this s will or this small will go into the 
entity and we'll catch up the entity and we'll go into a parameter name. So whenever you are catching things, when you are matching things from the training phrase, you need to remember one thing, okay? That you can only use dollar parameter value as the value of the parameter, okay? You can't use hashtag context.name. Since you are collecting that parameter, it has to go as dollar value, okay? But here is one more trick, one more thing that you can do that you can use the default value, okay? There is one thing called default value as hashtag context name dot parameter name. So if you are not giving any kind of value there, it will be taking up the default value. If you are giving that size there, it will, it will take it in the dollar value. Very simple. But if suppose you are not using any training phrase and you just want to keep a parameter in that intent, it's very simple. Go for hashtag context name dot parameter name in the value of that parameter. Again, that context has to be active. These are two key approaches. You'll have to dive in deep into dialogue flow to get a sense of what I'm talking about here. It's not that easy, but it is easy when you get a guided instruction manner. So I would request you to go and actually dive into dialogue flow and try this out. This is really extensive. This is really insightful and this is very helpful to you also. Let's take a very basic example of extended lead generation. Okay. So the one thing what you did, what you need to do here is you wish to use the name again in the conversation in any other intent. And the next thing you need to do here is while collecting the lead, you don't wish to ask for the name again. Okay. So let's have a look how we can go through this and we'll just be seeing this example. So suppose I go to dialog flow and I create an intent called inquiry. Okay. And very simple now. So what will happen here is I create a few training phrases like inquire now, or I want to inquire about the course. And then uh, there's, there's an action called name collection. Okay. And there's a required parameter name entity sys.any value is dollar name prompt our default prompts. I don't need to, if you don't put up any prompts, the default prompt from dialog flow comes up and my, uh, my response is simple, great name, dollar name. Let's go ahead. Okay. What I do after this is, so basic intent, what I do after this is I create an output context called lead. Okay. And I give that lifespan 25. Okay. Now when I'm giving the lifespan of 25 to this lead, I am meaning that this context will stay active for 25 conversational turns. Okay. What I do after this is I go to intents and basically I create another intent called go ahead. Okay. That simply means that if I'm saying go ahead, that this intent will be fired up. And now here, what I do is I take up a new parameter name called name new. The entity is at the root sys dot any. The value is hashtag lead dot name. Okay. And now I've kept the prompt basic. I've kept it as a required parameter. If this parameter will already be there, it won't ask for the prompt here. Okay. This is the basic rule. And if this parameter is not available, it will ask for it. Okay. Next is email dollar email at the red sys dot email. Simple, basic default prompts. Let's see how this goes. Okay. So suppose, and the response I've said here is thank you for your email hashtag lead dot name. Okay. So hashtag lead means hashtag context name dot name. Name was the name of the previous parameter. Okay. The parameter name that we had defined in the previous intent. Okay. So now we go to this try it now and we say inquire now okay now as i say inquire now it says what is the name i say gotham okay it says great name gotham let's go ahead the context active here you can see the green color here as active context is lead intent is inquiry and the parameter value is gotham very simple next my training phrase is go ahead okay and now you can see that it is not asking me for this name okay and this name new parameter is now Gotham. This is the fun. And if I enter Gotham at gmail.com, thank you for your email Gotham. This works perfectly as you can see here, right? This is what we're talking about that you can use that name in any another intent with a new parameter name also. So you have now, so now you have new parameter names. You can, you don't need to use the same parameter name even. And you can transfer the value of the parameter from one intent to another. Okay. So I think we had a great session today. 
So go and try this out. You will be getting your next assignment after this. Thanks a lot.